Went through surveillance footage and saw this. News 5's Brianna Hollis went and checked in on those employees today. They went right to the front door and busted in and ran straight to the back. So I guess they were looking for guns. It all happened fast. It was only about 45 seconds long. But long enough for a flood of people to pour out of that car, steal three knives, and make this mess. A mess the team at Trooper Pawn and Gun had to clean up on their day off. We started at 7, picking up glass, um, reorganizing stuff, because the car came basically almost like right here. While a long road of repairs still lies ahead, the managers are thankful the thieves got away with as little as they did. We were hoping that they didn't get to that area because that's other people's stuff. So just kind of fear <laughs> that they got other people's stuff. And now the pawn shop crew just wants to see these thieves caught. And how are you guys feeling about these kids that came in? Uh, pretty bad. I'm glad they got the car though, so hopefully they get the kids next. Reporting in Mobile, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. And the pawn shop will be open for business tomorrow. We have more of that surveillance video on our website, WKRG.com.